chaotic environments are indications of vast potential for transformation and how you navigate that. When you're in the rapids and you're on the little boat and you're in the rapids on the river, you can either be paranoid or you can be enjoying yourself focused. Focused enjoyment or usually unfocused fear. You're in a rapidy time. It's just a fact. It's rapidy time right now. And how you navigate those rapids is by choosing your reactions to your creations. And when you find yourself having a difficult time choosing your reactions to your creations, give yourself a break and choose again. Many years ago, Elohim said, choose and choose again. Not choose, okay, you're done, but choose and choose again. You have a long-standing pattern within you. It's called the survival instinct. It has kept you alive through crazy situations for a very long time. And we're not just referring to this incarnation. And you're evolving your relationship to it. You're literally changing the way you interact with the, mo the, the thing that keeps the body alive. It doesn't get any more primal than that. So you got to give yourself a break if you don't get it on the first try, or the thousandth try, or the ten thousandth try. But you'll get it here and there. And as you get it, you are evolving. And then when something comes up and you choose your reaction to that creation in a healthy habitual way, meaning in a more an automatic way you choose for neutral observation, which is what can I learn here? Not, oh God, this horrible thing's happened to me. But what can I learn here? It will feel like oneness to you. It will remind you of your greater self, your soul self, the part of you that is more than just human. The part of you that you had amnesia about in order to come here and experience this. It will remind you of that and you will feel a sense of self that you have been longing to feel. That's where we're headed. That's the progress that we're making. That's the path we're on. And you've got another, let's see, October, November, you've got another three, three and a half months of the rapids to go through. And if you react to that by saying, oh, how will I ever make it? You've missed the point. You've missed the point, so let's review. You will make it by choosing your reactions to your creations because as a creator, that is your ultimate freedom. Your ultimate freedom to evolve the human form out of homo sapiens and into homo spiritus is by choosing your reactions to your creations so that you can have a brand new experience of what's going on here. Not just a, oh, it's going to be okay way, but, oh, I am learning here way. Now, any of you who've gone boating down a river know that, sure, the rapids can be a little scary, but they're also the fun bits. You are in a rapids time energetically, and you get to decide, am I just going to be frightened and grip my oar with all my might and hope it's over soon? Or are you going to have the experience you're in? It's up to you. It's one of the responsibilities of being a creator is you get to choose. That's free will zone, folks. You get to choose. So make your choice over and over and over and over and over again. The rapids are here. It's time. And as you know, if you floated in one of those rafts, you can steer a bit in the rapids, and sometimes you can't. Sometimes you fall out. It happens. You have tools. You know what those tools are? They're life vests and a helmet. You've got friends that can say, hey, we're right here. You've got us. You know, we're the one in the boat that's saying, everybody paddle on the left now. Uh, you might want to paddle a little faster. Yeah, even faster than that. Faster than that, please, right now. Everyone, 
paddle faster on the left right now. I mean, if we all fall out, we all get back in together. But most of the time, if you listen, and we paddle all at the right time, then we get to learn about being in community while experiencing dodging big rocks. <laughs> and if we don't paddle fast enough and we run into the rock, we get to experience running into a rock as a community. So we pretty much avoid those rocks. But when we say to you, choose your reaction to your creation, you know, that's a physical representation of what we're talking about. Big rock ahead. And we say, get out what is true now and paddle hard. Because we really, really, really need to turn this raft. And somebody goes, I'm afraid! I'm afraid! And we're like, well, you know, paddling could make a difference. <laughs> I'm afraid! Really just distracts everyone else who's trying to paddle. Because then they go, am I supposed to be afraid too? And you notice what happens with the paddle hand, right? Am I supposed to be afraid too? <laughs> we can only paddle so much. <laughs> Y'all need to paddle also. Let's turn this raft. Let's turn it away from the idea that we all cover our eyes with our paddle out of the water. And you know, when you take your paddle out of the water, you know what it does? It drips in your lap. Right? Have you guys done this? You take the paddle out and it drips in your lap. So then, you're wet, if you weren't already. With your wet, drippy paddle. I'm afraid, covering your eyes, as if that's going to help. We love that one. Yeah. I'm afraid. Okay. I don't want to see my creation. Okay, that's helpful. We can see you're going to get some progress with this. Pro yeah, we're not, we, no, actually, we're, we're being facetious. That doesn't help. What do we say? Shine a light of consciousness on it, right? The truth of the matter is, if we paddle, the boat will turn. And if the boat turns, we won't hit the rock. So let's paddle. <laughs> and if only half of you are afraid at the same time, we probably won't hit the rock. So it's not like everybody has to be catching up with this. But just think how pleasurable it could be if everyone could stroke a couple times on the left and no one went, eh, I'm afraid, to distract everybody else. We probably would actually not only miss the big rock, but we could probably plan for the next big rock. And what does this mean in real life? This means emanation. You're in the middle of a chaotic pattern. What are you emanating? Are you adding to it? This doesn't mean you can't ask your friends, dear God, do you know what happened to me today? That's not what that doesn't mean. He doesn't mean that. But what it means is have some, have some boundaries with yourself. Right? Have some boundaries with yourself. Like, <laughs> Are you just going to let fear spool out and emanate that to everybody who sees you or hears you or feels you? When you do that, you just picture yourself in the boat. You got your paddle in your lap. And taking it out of the boat, of course, flicked cold water on everybody in front of you. <laughs> and now you're just dripping water, cold water between your legs. It's going to feel like you peed your pants here pretty soon. And you're saying, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Now, let's just say that is you. And you are afraid. And you're in chaos. And you don't know what to do. And you can't figure it out. And you don't want to paddle. And you want to sit there and just say, I can't do it. All right, let's see what I can't do it consciously looks like. All right? I can't do it is not covering your eyes. Put your freaking paddle across your knees and open your eyes and look at what you can't do. Own it. That big rock, I cannot avoid it. And I'm going to go toward it with as much consciousness, with as much cohesion in my system as possible. I'm not going to hide from the fact that I feel like I can't do this. I'm going to sit in the fact that the truth of me is, right now, I feel like I can't handle this. Because what that does is it says, <laughs> okay, I'm not ignoring what is true for me, and I'm open to new insight. Instead of, no, 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 which there's no room for any insight because all, anything that can be processed in your brain is fear. I'm afraid of that. We'd rather you say, I'm afraid of that, than sit there and go, no, 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 because I'm afraid of that at least as an empowered position of truth. I'm afraid of 
that and I cannot find a way to choose a different reaction to my creation. Okay, empowered truth, you're gathering facts. I'm afraid of that. I can't find a way to choose an empowered reaction to my creation. I'm afraid my friends won't like me anymore because I can't do that. Whatever. Fact, fact, fact. Gather them up. Rather than no, 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 no. Now, we'd rather you say, okay, gather a fact. I can't handle it. Period. Stop. Full stop. Let there be some empty space. Let yourself receive some insight. Let yourself at least sit in it. Not wear it, not make it your identity. But if you just sit there with your eyes covered, screaming, there's no room for much else. That's like the warrior talks about, right? Hold your fears close, like a lover, so that you can see them and know exactly what their story is. Find the places where they're weak and they can fade away. This is important. You're in chaos time. Period. How you comport yourself in chaos time, that's important. 